high, looking over the top for Middleton. Middleton will catch this, you know. Can he get a shot away? So close, Glenn Middleton. Echoes of the goal he scored the other night as he went over the top. He latched onto it with the left foot shots away, but just a foot or so wide. A quick, wonderful ball over the top. The timing of the run again from Middleton was spot on. Playing right on the shoulder, in behind, and he can't quite find that bottom corner. It's promising though, isn't it? But here come Belgium with uh, Verskeren. Nice reverse pass, and oh, it's another opportunity. Very similar to Middleton's, and very similar Leo Penda just drags it wide of the far post. A let off for Scotland just after they could have been in front. Yeah, it was a nice little pass, wasn't it? A cute little pass in behind the back four. Stephen Welsh gets caught out. Alpenda times his run nicely and exactly the same as Middleton. Just drags it wide. Um, glad to see it going wide because it would have been a disappointment to concede after such a big chance for ourselves. Yes, but it will be Fiorini to curl it in. It's a decent looking ball, but it's headed high in the air by De Vinter. Held back into the penalty and Middleton will try and make something of it. But uh, CK manages to thump it away. And Doyle will have to be careful when he's being caught napping there by a Penda. This could be dangerous. Penda picks a lovely ball out. This could be really threatening. And it's latched over the top in the end by Vertes, and it just wouldn't sit down for him. A real let off for Scotland and Doyle, who had just been praising Rory. Yeah, a loose touch. A little bit too relaxed. Blake breaks to a Penda. Fantastic counter attack. Picks his teammate out wonderfully. There's Raskan. Looking for Vertes and all Doys, giving away a penalty. He knew immediately hangs his head. He just allowed the Belgian player Vertes to get on the other side of him, the wrong side. And he stuck out the leg, brought him to the ground. And Belgium on a huge chance to right. take the lead. It's written all over his face, isn't it? He just gets it out just before him, Vertes does. He doesn't see him coming, he comes on the blind side. Doig just trying to clear the ball for a corner or a throw in, takes him out, and unfortunately, pains me to say it, referee gets that spot on, that's a penalty. As a Penda steps up and sends him the wrong way, and Belgium are in front. And a Penda yet again, the man to score for Belgium. It's a record equal in 12th under 21 goal. He is deadly in front of goal and given an opportunity from the spot, he wasn't going to match that one up. In Scotland, doing well to keep the ball, though almost giving it away there. Fiorini looking interested. Fiorini's in! Good save! To deny Lewis Fiorini the equaliser. Yeah, he gets a split second to think about it, which as a, as a forward player can be a good thing at times, and he tries to shape it into the corner on the half ball. He just gets his foot round it and wrap it into the corner. If he didn't get in Kelly's way, here's Clayton. Through for Fiorini. Flags down. Needs support in the box. Oh, he tries to catch the keeper out of his near post. And Almost manages it. Maybe he'd be looking for a cut back here, but Mark Leonard cannot make up the space at the back post. He's looking up, looking up, tries to catch the keeper out. As Belgium come forward, it's Raskan. Goes for goal, and he's denied again by Slicker. What a save that is. Oh yeah, it's got a lot behind it, and he does really well to tip it round. Scott High needs to be careful with that switch of play. It's Belgium who looking more likely in the last 10 minutes or so. That's a wonderful ball! And there is the second goal, and it's Nicola Raskan, who has twice been denied by Kieran Slicker, but not this time. He beat the offside trap, and finishes with a plomb past Slicker. Well, it's absolutely no surprise to see the man set it up as Hugo Sique. He cuts back on his weaker foot this time, as you see here, whips it into the danger area. And it's a fantastic finish, I must say, by Raskan.